In this video, we will work on the icons as you see here. So let's get started. Material UI give us a nice package for icons to be installed and use it inside our application. But what I prefer is called React Icons. Okay, and it's a nice package that we have a bunch of icons from Font Awesome, Material UI, from other websites that uses some icons. Okay, so let's install that package inside. As you can see, when we install this package, we have all these fonts inside your application and you can make use of any icon from this different service. So let's say, install it as React Icons. So let's go back to my terminal, shut down my server, and then run add run add call react icons like that so let me show you how it is used for example if you want to use ant design icons click on it and when you click you see how it's import all of them start from react icon slash and the ending determines where that icon is coming from as you can see we have initial as what and design the first one and if you want to use icon from bootstrap the ending is bootstrap bs and you can grab the icon name from this website and if you want to have box icons too you can also grab the bi that is the initial the um, box icons bi inside and use the application so this is why we are going to make use of that inside our application so let me clear it and start my server so let's get started so inside our tabs, we can pass in additional prop called icon, and we can pass in there. So inside of each one, we are going to make use of that icon. So we are going to, first of all, before we continue, as you can see, this one is an icon I use. So that icon, I grabbed it from, which uh, is called GI. So let's go to my React icons, the GI, I think it's GitHub, right? And then let me search for GI book. As you can see, is this one, okay? This one, GI book aura. So as we click on it, you can see, copy it and go back to application and let's import it from material UI, material React icon. So let's import that icon that I just copied, okay, from React icons slash, what's the name? Is it um, AI? Very good, that's it. And then let's grab the GI book aura. And then inside my Typography instead of this I can return the icon component with a GI Component like that save it and then let's go back to application as you can see Where is it? Save it again. Let me start my server. It's not running. That's why I have that error So let's save it as you can see you have that icon. We just use it inside our application It failed it's not exported as okay. I think I have bad import. It's GI. Sorry, what is it? It's GI, right? So let me import it from GI. Yeah. What did I use it? I thought I use it. GI instead of I make it AI. So GI rather. So let's see what we have now. Save it. As you can see, we have it being nice here, but we style it using our custom CSS. So here we have it there as a logo here, and exactly we have by the color changes. We will do that one in the next video. So in then the previous and the final one, we have icon above each, and for each tab, it takes in it takes in icon as an prop as a prop. So we can pass in on each tab 
on each tab for example this one you can pass in one prop called icon and then for that icon it's a prop right so the first one is called I make it fi book open okay and it's coming from fi but uh, fi icon website so let's import that one which is fi book open from react icon sorry I have bad import from react icon slash fi is from that package so we save it as you can see we have that book there and the next one I import is called ri money pound circle from this so we can search for ri the name is what money pound circle as ri money pound circle as that so let me see what we have here okay so let's import that one so I'll have to first about the import of the of the icon so I have all of them here so let me copy them and paste there and then you can do them one by one okay so let me import all the icons I need okay so I have the FI open from this website uh, RI money pound circle from RI icons BS fill personal fill from BS okay so let's grab all those one and use it inside our application the first one I use was called the FI book open and then the next one I'm gonna use is called the RI money cycle circle so let me copy the, this prop here and paste it on each of my tabs okay on my tabs let me change this one to ri money pound circle the next tab for the fees for the courses is open yeah and for my I have two courses here okay don't worry I think and for my fees is what um uh, R I money pound circle so let me go back I think I have so many courses here two courses so let me remove one okay I have courses here courses here so let me remove this one because I have two courses tab so let me remove this one okay I have one courses fees on fees I use this money pound circle and for parent account for parent account I'm gonna use this icon let me paste it here for you to see what I'm talking about so the, the icon is only this one I'm using the BS field parent uh, person plus field and the next one is for the holidays I use let me show you how the icon name that is it all right and for the holidays one I use I'm happy icon okay so let me paste it in here so I'm just passing the props of the icons inside my tabs that's what I'm doing now to fast forward it and for the icon this one too I pass in my account the openings mm, that's for teachers account what is it they have teachers accounts now I don't have it. So let me see. I have account for the final one. Classes not defined. Yeah. So let me remove some. Don't worry about the classes now. You go over again if your application crashes. And for the openings, I use this icon. Okay. This icon here. Excellent. So this icon for the opening all right 
So let me remove all the classes names. I will come back to that. So remove all the classes from each icon. Okay. As so let me close it here. Remove this. Let me remove all the class names from each so that I can have my application up and running. Okay. So why this error? The icon name link pass in the icon prop and then paste it here. Okay. And let me see the class name I have here. Okay, I'm good to go. So as you can see, we have all the props passed in as the icons. As you can see, we have this one being pushed up. We work on that, don't worry. And guys, so this is how you use the icons inside our tab bar. And next video, we will talk about the styling, our custom CSS to start and push this one to the left hand side, to the right hand side.